What's up, guys? It's the only ninja wearing aviators and Superman hat bringing you another episode of Combat for Dummies here on the Modern Ninja Channel. This time, we're gonna be going over knife defense. Alright guys, so as I'm sure you figured out, I can't really attack myself with a knife. Uh, I can't do that quite well. And so I have to enlist someone to help me out on this video. And right now I have the producer and rapper, JD, to help me out. So come over here. So he up, is going to be attacking what's up, what's up? me with this knife. Well, actually not this knife. That's, that's not very smart. He's going to be attacking me with this knife because I don't want to hurt him. It's, it's mostly I don't want to hurt him. So, this is just a, uh, a basic practice knife. I cut off the tip. Actually, I didn't cut it off. It just kind of broke off one time uh, when I stabbed a bulletproof plate. But uh, this is going to be what uh, JD uses to attack me with on these videos. I'm ready to go. All right, so for the first strike, uh, JD is going to come out just like he's trying to slash across my neck. Just like that. So... Jenny, if you would do it a cry, perfect, just like that. So, what you're first gonna want to do is you have two options when you're attacking the knife. You can either be outside the range or inside the range. This is your this is your red zone. You can't be here. But you can be away from it and you're good, or you can be closer to it and you're also good. But you have to choose quickly. Whenever a knife is involved, you have to be able to react fast and decisively. So. What we're gonna do right now is we're going to step inside and get control of the situation because being away from it just means you gotta be ready for the next time he slashes like at your neck. Being in it means you can react to it. So what we're gonna do, when he strikes, I'm gonna step in close with both my hands up. Now notice, I'm not, my hands aren't away. You don't wanna let your veins be towards the weapon because if they get cut, you will die. So, using the sides of your arms, or even the backs of your arms, blocking this arm. Now, as soon as you block, you want to get control of the weapon. Get control of this hand. Because if you don't, he can kill you. So, again, that's always the, uh, the ideal place to avoid being stabbed. Thing to avoid, I guess. So, what we're going to do from here is you're going to take your inside hand that's not controlling that weapon. You're going to chop or stun him at that rib i like bang striking that floating rib just to break it because that'll put him out of breath that'll not be comfortable for him now once you get that i like always making them regret using the arm they use to attack me so i'm going to come up and break the arm just like that break the arm just at that elbow point pushing the elbow up pulling the wrist down allowing for that snap to happen because as you know your wrist only your elbow only bends so much or straightens so much so after that hyperextension, that break, I'm gonna take my right hand, grab his fingers and the, and the, the uh, handle of the knife, not the blade, the handle of the knife, and I'm going to pull it towards him, just like this, Dang. just so this joint lock right here. So this keeps him on his toes. If I wanna back him up, you, you can see the pain in his face right now. So then once I'm done, I can disarm, back away, just like that. One more time, going all the way through. Just ready, go for it. Bang, you gotta attack me with some speed. Bang, chop, break, coming through, getting out, just like that. So, the next, the next move he's gonna attack me with is gonna be slightly different. This is gonna be a stab, like he's coming up, trying to stab me straight on. Now, there are a couple ways you can handle this. Uh, my advice is not to be outside of range because you don't necessarily know how far his range is. So instead, you wanna pick either, go ahead, the inside or the outside of his arm. The outside meaning the outside of his body, the inside meaning towards his chest. Now, the problem with pointing or picking the inside is that you also have this other hand to deal with and you don't want that. Why put yourself in a position where you have to defend a second time? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go attack and step to the outside of this hand. So I'm gonna actually turn so you can see a little bit better. So once he attacks, you want to step outside the way of the attack. And again, with two hands, one, two, using the side or back of your arms to block that hand and take control of the wrist, just like before. So ready, go for it. Bang, keeping that together. Now, 
what we're gonna do is I'm going to take my uh, left hand and put it on his thumb or, or on his pinky just like this so keeping my thumb on his pinky one more time block grabbing that hand just like this now I'm also keeping that elbow straight not letting him bend it yet I'm keeping that pressure on it just so he does he knows he's messed up now once I'm ready I'm then going to grab his hand with both of my hands and peel it towards his ear just like this now once I'm here keeping that pressure here I point to the ground one more time watch so once you're blocking grabbing with the thumb on that pinky knuckle then grab with both hands keeping that weight on that elbow and then towards his ear and towards the ground just like that and this I can keep him here all day and knee him in the face then I make sure take the knife with the handle only and get safe now the last one is gonna be uh, kind of a, a movie what's that movie where that, that girl gets stabbed in the oh, shower. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's gonna be that. Movie. Yeah, but it's gonna be that horror movie vibe to it. So, Justin. <coughs> so, JD. So, JD is gonna come up with the knife and go overhead and stab just like that. So, right now, again, you have a couple of options. You can be outside, which I don't advise because you don't know how far it's reaching. So, you can be uh, inside, so go ahead. You can be inside just like this, but you have to be fast. If you're gonna be catching his arm just like this, you have to be quick. And there are things to do, and I can go over them, but not right now. You have to work on that speed first. Now, your other options are, of course, the left or the right, depending on which arm. It's gonna be the outside of his body or the inside of his body. And just like I said before, don't choose the inside of his body. It makes it a lot harder on you. So, when you attack, go ahead. You're going to step to the outside. Now, again, watch. Using both hands, go ahead, stepping out of the way and blocking just like before, and guiding that arm away from you. So I want you to attack in slow-mo, guiding that arm away from you, grabbing the wrist as soon as you get that example. So for this one, I'm not going to stop his momentum because it takes a lot for me to keep him from swinging. So I'm going to push his arm to keep going into his leg, just like that. So one more time, ready? Bang, blocking, grabbing, going into his leg. Now, from here, I'm going to grab that, that wrist. Don't let go of that wrist with, with both of your hands. Always keep one hand on that wrist at all times. So I'm going to grab that wrist, wrap around elbow to the, to the jaw, just to keep him off his rocker. Grab the back of the head and knee to the face, just like that. So, one more time, look out. Go. Go. Sit. Go. Go. <laughs> so, one more time. Go ahead. Okay, so when you attack, you like step through like you're trying to attack, not like you're trying to reach out and touch me. Go. Go. Step out with your sit. Like, you reach out opposite. That's how you do it. No. I like that. Yeah, but like, with the you know, You're trying to chase me. No, because people run. This. Okay. So whatever is for balance. Whatever that's fine. It just seems awkward for you. Whatever. Go ahead. This looks seems weird. Then it's grabbing that wrist, keeping that pressure on, stabbing in, elbow to the jaw, wrap around the back of the head, and knee. Now, all the way through. Ready? Go. Bang! Just like that. So, thank you, JD. That was, that's why you, that's why you don't play with knives. Edit that out. <laughs> no, that was the thing. Edit that out. So, <laughs> edit that. <laughs> so, JD, uh, you want to tell them about your uh, song that dropped out a couple weeks ago? Yeah, so I just uh, released an EP uh, a couple weeks ago now. Check it out. It's called Just Look Deeper if you haven't already. It's awesome. Uh, first three tracks are really about the process. The last track is about really the, the, the blessings that are to come. So check it out. Tell me what you guys think. Keep watching Modern Ninja because he's using all my songs uh, uh, and he'll be featuring all of that stuff. So yeah, I'll leave all the links down in the description for you guys. So, but make sure if you do like this video and want to see more, hit that like button so you know, so I know that you like the video and subscribe so you'll catch all the videos to come. Till next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja and I'm out. Peace.
Lately I didn't had a lot of weight on my shoulders, I ain't gon' lie to him. It's kinda hard staying sober to struggle real see. I'm a born again soldier, this ain't a breeze, but I swear that the flow getting colder as I get older. The vision's getting clearer, the goal's getting closer. I could look at the man in the mirror in the eyes. I'm not familiar with the nine to five. All I know is over time, over time, I'll be cruising like it's summertime. Vibing the park with the top down. And showing California love westbound with the top sound. Summer breeze, got the palm trees dancing. Chilling on the beach crib, looking like a mansion. Things I couldn't fathom. Things never imagined before they started saying I'm a lyrical assassin. You are now witnessing the come up. I'm only getting better, I'll slow down when I catch up. A paradise never got me to paradise. Recognize I wouldn't compromise my appetite.